I'm Anna, and we're here with Erin McGee from Bobbins Nest Studios out of Santa Clara, California. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Hi. Thank you for having me. Hi, thank it's good you. to see you. She's got a great little store. It's we're going darling. to learn how to, what is this called? We're going to... <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what is it? Knit, crochet, on am um, like... We're going to learn how to do the knit stitch okay. today. Okay, all right, we're knitting. Yay, <laughs> and we're, we're also knitting. going to learn how to do a very simple embroidery stitch as okay. well. And make very these cool. cute little bracelets. All right, let's get started because I feel like this is going to take me a while to catch on. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we're going to knit these bracelets and they're really simple. You only cast on five stitches. Okay. So it's just knitting back and forth, very simple. It's what they call garter stitch. So garter stitch is just knitting, no purling. Oh, you don't have to do the knitting. pearl thing, right? No. I learned about the pearl thing. Yes, okay, you good. don't have to just No knit, purling, just, knit. just okay. knitting. Just you guys knitting. are like speaking Chinese right now. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, or Spanish, any language but English. I'm just so okay, but you're going to learn knit. Okay, okay. All you have to learn, remember is knit. Well, I thought I was learning purling. <laughs> no, you're going to learn how to knit. Today. Okay. <laughs> so basically, the knit stitch is going to be going in from left to right through the front of the stitch and putting your right needle behind the left needle. Okay. Okay. Grab the yarn that's attached to the ball and wrap it around counterclockwise, that back needle. Okay. And then you pull it through and off the stitch jumps. And it, now it's on the other needle. We'll do it again. Okay. So we're gonna go from left to right through the front of the stitch. We're gonna wrap it counterclockwise. Wrap it counterclockwise bring it back bring through. It back through and, and off the stitch it jumps. jumps. Mm -hmm. And so you're gonna do that all the way across and you're gonna knit these five stitches until your bracelet becomes the desired length that you want it to be, which you would wrap it around your wrist and make sure that it fits. Okay, now, but how did you get the loops on your other one? How did I get the loops on? Yeah, like how'd you get those loops that you were going through? Well, we initially cast on, and I'm not gonna demonstrate that today because that's a whole other mess, but, oh. but <laughs> we initially cast it on okay. the stitches. So can she, can you see no. if she can try doing this? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. come on, you I can do it. I think you're going to like knitting, Megan. Okay. Grab the yarn attached to the ball. Yes. Go underneath, uh -huh. left to right. Yeah, you got it. Count. Now put this in the back. Oh, I can't swear. <laughs> oh, my God. And then we're not pulling this whole thing apart. Got it. You made it look so easy. And mm -hmm. then you okay, wrap, the, wrap, wrap the yarn. Wrap this? The, yes, around counter. counter. The other way, counterclockwise. Counter. Uh-huh. And then through the stitch. Oh, my God. You can do this. Through this way? Uh-huh. And off it jumps. And then tighten up this a little bit. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Look at <laughs> You did it. I'm so excited. So we're going to knit this until it becomes the desired length. We've also used covered buttons. Those are cute. As little accessories. Those are super cute. And you can get the covered button kits at most craft stores. And they're just a simple, you just take little scraps of fabric that match your knitting. That's and really, cover really up the cute. Buttons. And then the other thing that I'm doing too is I'm embroidering a really simple, simple embroidery stitch. Oh, you don't like switch the yarn out in the middle? No. I mean, that's a not to do, not, not to do, to do this. Little. No, okay. the, the little embroidered flowers or stars are just put on after the fact. And you can okay. put them at random, so you can mix them She's with either the... Much like, more how did you down. flip the yarn in the middle of the... Uh. <laughs> so you're, you're actually putting these... Um, in conjunction with the buttons, or you can do them by the, by themselves, like I have on this one. Okay. So basically, what we're coming up is you just sort of pick a random spot. Okay. You come up. It's really really simple. You're just coming up, and you're creating your little flower by making just a stitch. And, and then you're you, not pulling too tight. And you right? don't pull too okay. tight. No, you okay. keep it fairly loose. And then you come up through that same hole that you came up with before. Okay and then you're making another one. Make another stitch. And you just keep coming up through that same hole until you get as many petals as you want on your flower or points on your star, depending. Usually I try to make it five. I don't know why that is, but I do. So you're just coming up through the same hole and go, going under. That's super simple. Super, super simple. Yeah. I mean, you just that embroider and, and now, sew on one, the buttons. One question I have for you, how yeah. do you get the buttonhole? The buttonhole is what they call a yarn over. That's really knitting. easy. You just pull really wide like I did on mine. <laughs> it was like mastering multiple skills. And you then were. you have a buttonhole. You were. No, can you let <laughs> Yeah, now get the real way to do it. 
what you would do is you would actually wrap the yarn around the um, the needle a couple of okay. times, and then what happens is it creates a hole. So kind of do you kind of wrap it around the needle like if you were doing a, a French knot, you know, where kind you kind of, of wrap, yeah. kind of yeah, that same you wrap kind of it concept. a couple of okay. times same sort of thing. I tell you, I do everything but knit and crochet. I did just um, recently learn how to knit. I need to practice some more. So this is all like out of my area, but it's really <laughs> cool and we need to learn to do this. Well, oh and the God, other thing Megan. too is what you can do is you can actually, because the buttons aren't very big, you actually don't really need the buttonhole. You, oh, could, you, could, just, just you could just push the it. button through and stretch it. And then you just button it on and look at how mm -hmm. cute that is. Mm -hmm. Meg. Yeah. Super easy. Oh, that is cute. They are very cute. They're fun. I love all the different, the buttons really make this such a mm -hmm. really cool project. I really like this a lot. And it's a real good beginner project. It's a very it? good beginner project. It's also really good for kids. Okay, then really what's my easy. problem? Because... <laughs> <laughs> well, Megan, we're going to have Erin work with you a little bit more after the show is over. <laughs> I'm like eating my hair here. Well, um, did my mom tell you about our fabulous phrase that we always like to have everyone say with us? No. Watch, it goes like this. When creativity knocks, open, open the, the door. door. See, isn't it fun? <laughs>